Hey guys, Dominic here. Just had a bit of a gym session, pumped a bit of iron, and just filling up with a bit of water. Feeling pretty good. So today I just want to talk about why you should do weights or resistance training. So first up, what is resistance training? Well, you can consider it bodybuilding, um, but also it's anything that's forcing your body to adapt under tension or with weight. So you can use free weights, you can use cables with machines, uh, you can use just body weight and also resistance bands as well, although I haven't uh, used them before. So why would you do it? Okay, the thing about your, the human body is it starts to age and um, the best way to keep your bones strong is to have a bit of load bearing. So. Uh, running's good or walking, but as far as lifting weights for your whole body, a, a full body routine, you're going to work every part of your body, so all your bones are going to stay strong, also your joints and your ligaments are going to stay supple and your muscles obviously are going to be like as close as you can get to, to staying young. I know no one's going to live forever, but uh, it's one of the, the best ways you can try and um, keep yourself young anyway. Keep your cells re rejuvenating as you keep keep doing your resistance training. So the other reasons, um, you've got to set a, a good example for the kids as well. Be a positive role model. Uh, out of my three boys, two are teenagers, so they've actually started doing a bit of calisthenics and a little bit of weights, just because they want to feel good about themselves. Um, I think that's really good. Kids these days got so many things that can sidetrack them. So if they've already thinking about the future and what their body is going to look like and set some healthy seeds in motion, I guess. Well, I think that's another good thing to be positive about. Uh, the other thing is the accomplishment you get from lifting weights. It's, it's a challenge every time you try and beat your old repetitions or lift a heavier weight. So it's something that can uh, give you good self-esteem as well. So, how big will you get? Well, f for men, it's going to take a few years if you really want to get big, but the way I see it, that's the way I do it is more for sport. So it's just a bit of strength training. You're not going to get really bulky, unless, of course, you want to, and you want to become a, a bodybuilder and get as big as you can. It's, it's going to take you a few years anyway, from what I've read, doing it naturally. Uh, and women, it'll be even harder to put on big bulky muscles just due to the fact that they don't have as much testosterone as men. But if, if bodybuilding's your thing, go for it. But um, as far as putting on bulky muscles, yeah, it's, it's not going to happen unless you're really, really trying for it. But the way I see it, I do it more for, for sport. So if you have two athletes that are equal cardiovascular-wise, same sort of heart rate, um, and the cardiovascular system's about equal. The one who's got the stronger muscles is, is going to be able to push push harder at the end. He's going to have more power, or he's going to have to use less power to maintain the, the same sort of fitness. So it's going to help you out in sport anyway, without being a total bodybuilder. Um, so basically I'd say all I do is incorporate two 20-minute sessions a week. Um, that's all it takes. You don't have to. You don't have to join a gym unless you need motivation or you've got um, people that you know that'll keep you going. It's going to cost you money. I recommend either having your own gym set up. You can do the privacy of your own home with your own music. You've got no one to um, argue with over weights. You can just get in and do it when it suits you. Or you can do just body weight training anywhere that you like if you're travelling and stuff. I'll do that in another video. I mean, anything like bench press, you can do push-ups, it's, it's the same sort of thing. You can do squats, um, chin-ups, same sort of thing as working your back. Sit-ups, you can do that anywhere. So I'll do that in another vid, what sort of routines you can do. So basically, you don't have to be a gym junkie, unless you want to be, of course. That's perfectly fine. If you want to do an hour a day, every day, and that's what you live for, fair enough. But I found I've got results from from doing just 20 minutes twice a week. I've still got another life doing other stuff. And um, hopefully you'll consider putting some of these um, 
thoughts to use and have a think about doing some resistance training. Cheers.